Slow moving but always fascinating, the snail is one of the most ecologically diverse animals on the planet. Belonging to the phylum of Malesca, it's found almost everywhere in the world, from high mountains to simple botanical gardens to deep undersea rocks. The shell is the defining feature of the snail. This is the one thing that separates them from the closely related slugs and sea slugs, although many slugs still have internal shell plates within their bodies. Since the shells contain most of the internal organs, snails cannot survive without shells. These animals contain only rudimentary eyes and no ears at all. Instead, they interact with the environment around them through their sense of touch and their ability to detect vibrations. One of the more unusual facts is that many species are hermaphroditic, meaning that they possess both male and female reproductive organs. After mating, snails bury their eggs below the ground. Depending on the climate conditions, these eggs will hatch a few weeks later. The young snails are so eager for food that they may consume the unhatched eggs from the same parents. During development, they undergo a process called torsion in which its mass is rotated to one side, meaning the anus is actually located close to the head. Snails can survive the harsh winter by living off their fat reserves. They have multiple lines of defense to protect their soft bodies as they hibernate. First, they dig a small hole in the ground, then they retreat into their shell, and finally, they seal off the entrance of the shell from potential predators. Some aquatic snails, like the nerites, have gills to breathe underwater. Others retain both the lungs and gills. The apple snail has a breathing tube that reaches the surface of the water. The sea snail has a natural adhesive that allows them to stick on rocks without being carried away by the surf. This has inspired some researchers to develop a kind of experimental medical glue for use in repairing heart defects. They may not be the most charismatic group of species, but we can learn a lot from the lowly snail. 